How's everyone doing today? James Huska here with Peak Condition, and I am in the comfort of my own home to bring you the core workout today. And so the reason why I'm doing this workout is because Thanksgiving was three days ago, I'm feeling a little bloated, and also I've been slacking recently with my core exercises. And when I say slacking, I'm just not feeling quite as toned, I'm not feeling quite as strong in my core, and I wanna get back to my fighting weight, right? I wanna feel lean, I wanna feel ripped, I wanna feel as good as possible. And one question I get from clients, potential clients, and just people in general, will they'll wonder, how do you get that six pack? How do you get ripped? And it's not just gonna happen from focusing on core exercises. So we're going to focus on core exercises today, but it's gonna come from a combination of total body exercises, which are gonna get your heart rate up, strength training, it's gonna come from core exercises, and nutrition. So all those combined, right? And so typically when we're doing the workouts on this channel, we're doing the athlete style, athlete specific workouts, we're not only elevating our heart rate, we're working on strength and we're also focusing on the core. So we're kind of hitting all those different stones and we're getting the best results possible. However, if we want to really isolate the core and just get that extra pop, then we're going to want to add in those extra exercises. So if you're feeling up to it, you should actually start with a workout, a full workout. I'll leave a link below. Start with that one, then get to this core exercise. I'm just gonna straight do this core exercise. I actually worked out pretty hard yesterday. I was outside doing sprints, so that felt good to get back out there and just do some sprints. I am 36 now, so it feels good to do these exercises I was doing when I was in college. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just back up here. And I'll back up so that you can see my full body. It should just be in the screen. All right, so first thing, we're just gonna get a little warm up, nothing too crazy. So, hands behind the head, prisoner style, and I want you to just do some bodyweight squats, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of these. And we're not gonna be moving around too frequently today. Main thing is, again, just wanna get the blood flowing here, get everything activated, and make sure that we're not gonna potentially pull a muscle. So we have about four more of these. One more. All right, excellent. Next, I just want you to do the trunk rotation. Okay, so my arms are just loose at my side, rotating my trunk. And this one, I'm just opening up my spine. All right, next, we're just gonna flex toward one side. And I'm also gonna get that tricep stretch while I do that flexion. So I'm getting the release here on my lats, and I'm also getting that tricep release. All right, go ahead and switch sides. I'm gonna to try to stay in frame as much as I can. I'm kind of working with limited space here, so that's why I'm purposely not staying my arms up like that, because I'm trying to stay in frame for you guys. That's how much I love you. All right, next, let's go ahead and get into a nice wide side lunge. Okay, so again, lunge foot, 45 degree angle, plant legs extended, and I'm just extending outward. All right, switching it up. Other side. All right, excellent. Next, we're just gonna go ahead, get in this downward dog position, and we're gonna stretch out the calf. So my calves have actually been pretty tight. Again, I told you I sprinted yesterday. So I wanna make sure these things are loosened up. And actually, I was in church earlier, and I literally was sitting there like this the whole time, and I was just working out my calves and Achilles because they're sore, so I was, uh, I was getting my worship on while I was getting my stretch on, so, you know, killing two birds with one stone. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. First thing we're going to do, slightly advanced, so I'm gonna go ahead and demo this before we start. All right, so first, we're up in basically a downward dog position. All right, so next, we're just gonna dive toward the ground. I'm gonna get nice and close, but I'm not resting my chest on the ground. I'm gonna extend upward, hold there for a sec. I'm gonna kick back, butt up, so now I'm back in that downward dog. I'm gonna raise my leg, raise my other leg. All right, so as we do this, again, we're working our chest, we're working our shoulders, and we're working our core. We're gonna actually hit the butt a little bit as well. So we're gonna hit all those muscles, right? So we're starting out with the total body exercise. So we're gonna do 15. So here we go. 
Butts up in the air. Diving up, hold. Butts back up. Drawing the leg up. Other leg up. That's one. Coming down. Back up. Leg up. Two. Coming down. Back up. Three down. Coming down. Back up. That's four. Coming down, we're starting to get tough. Back up, drawing up. Five. Coming down. Back up. Six. Coming down. Back up. That's seven. Coming down. Back up. Eight. Coming down. Back up. Nine, six more, and you know what I'm gonna scoot this mat forward a little bit because I notice I'm not totally in frame. Hopefully that will fix itself. There we go. Back up. Ten. Coming down. Back up. Eleven. Down. Back up. This is a tricep burner also. Twelve. Down. Back up, 13, down, back up, 14, last one, coming down, back up, and oh, number 15. Wow, that was tough. It was actually more challenging on the arms than on the core, but it's all right. So we got that core fired up, we warmed up our trunk, and that's gonna lead us to the next exercise. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and stay on our side. We're gonna do the side flexion up. All right, so we've done these before. I'll give a quick little demo here. So I'm gonna rotate my hips back slightly, so then I'm gonna flex up, I'm gonna come back down. So if our hips are rotated too far forward, just anatomically, I'm not gonna be able to get up, right? I can't really flex up any higher than that. So that's why we're gonna slightly rotate them back. So that's gonna enable us to get up higher, it's really gonna target the side of our trunk. All right, so we're gonna do 25 on each side. Again, targeting the core. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, ooh, starting to burn, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Oh, I feel that, it's burning. That's good, that's the purpose, right? That's why we're doing it. All right, other side, same thing. Rotating the hips back. Flexing up, back down. So let's go ahead and start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 25 more, one, two, three, four, and whew, 25. That was good, that was effective. I like that. So gradually, they're just getting a little more progressively challenging, and when I say challenging, I guess I should say more targeted, more isolated. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, lie on our back, and we're going to extend our legs upward. So if I can, keep them fully extended. I'm not super flexible, I'm working on the flexibility, right? Just like we all should be. So I'm gonna keep them extended. I'm actually gonna kind of get a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Now I'm gonna reach up toward one side, back down. Reach up toward the other side, back down. It's a very small movement, but it's very targeted. All right, so we're gonna do 25 of these. Here we go. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, it burns already. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three. Five. Whew, that burned, but that was good. It was effective. That's why we did it, right? All right, so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip around here so I can stay in frame. So we're going to hold the plank. So once we're in that plank, we're then going to draw our knee in, draw our other knee in. So as we do that, I want to draw in as far as I can. Because when I draw in, you see I'm flexing, right? And that's when I get that core activation. So the further I draw in, the more core activation I'm going to get. And then also that'll strengthen your core for those knees, right? Like when you're grabbing somebody, you're gonna boom, knee him right in the face. All right. So I'm, I'm a little amped up, I need to do some kickboxing or something. All right, so plank, draw the knees in, we have 20 knees. Here we go. One. Two, three, back up, so in frame. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and oh, number 20. That was tough. Hell right, good job out there. Next, we're going to lie on our back again. And now we're going to do alternating crunches. So for these, what we'll do, we'll have our knees in the air. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw up toward one side, draw that knee in, extend back out. So again, as we do that, the larger range of motion we have, the more effective it's going to be. So here we go. We're going to do 25 of these. 25. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and oh, 25. Ooh, these are all adding up. This is tough. I'm really getting that burn, and that's why I'm doing this, right? Get back to our fighting weight, right? All right, so next we're going to target our lower back. So for this one, we're going to do the Superman. And as we do these, by the way, so we're working different planes, right? So we did the flexions, working the frontal plane. We did rotational moves. That's the transverse plane. We flexed straight forward. It's the sagittal plane. So we want to make sure that we target all the different areas of our body, because otherwise we're going to have an imbalance and that could lead to an injury. All right, so here we go. We go ahead, lie on down, arms extended, legs extended, and we're just going to draw up, hold for a sec, and we're back down. So again, that's gonna target my butt and my lower back. Here we go, we're doing 15. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and number fifteen. All right, excellent job out there. All right, so we're actually only going to do one more 
movements. And for that, we're gonna kick our bodies out and then we're gonna stand back up. So you can do 15 of these. So I'm ending off with this one. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because, again, we're gonna elevate our heart rate and then that's gonna carry over to the rest of the day. That way we'll be burning more calories while we sleep, literally. All right, so again, we'll go over this movement really quickly. So I'm just gonna put my hands down, kick out, stand back up. All right, let's do 15. Let's do this, last thing. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number nine, 10, 11, 12, three more, 13, 14, and last one, Woo! number 15, yeah, you did it, good job. All right, so I'm gonna back up. We're just gonna end off with a little cool down, some static stretching. All right, so first thing we're going to do, I want you to just get in a nice exaggerated lunge, outside arm down, rotate up and hold that. All right, so we're gonna switch it up. Same thing on the other side. Rotating up and holding. All right, excellent. From there, go ahead and turn the feet outward. Get into a nice deep squat. One hand down, rotate up. And the other hand down, rotating up. All right, excellent. Next, we're just gonna do some small circles forward, backward, back to the trunk rotation. And now we will Go ahead, back on the mat, feet together, knees turned out. We're gonna kick our butt back, extend our arms forward. I'm gonna rotate one thumb upward toward the ceiling. I'm still leaning back, getting that same release. But now we're kind of targeting our lat and shoulder. All right, now you're gonna flip over, lie on your back. And next, knees bent. We're just gonna draw our leg across and look the opposite way. Also, you can extend your arms. The couch is blocking me, so I can't extend my arm that way, but you at home, go ahead and do that. All right, same thing on the other side. Let's scooch forward a little more so we can get that full rotation. All right, and lastly, our bottom leg. Knee is bent. We're gonna extend our back leg and we're just gonna reach forward. All right, same thing on the other side. And there you go. So that concludes the core workouts for the day. So again, folks, so the reason why I did this workout in particular is because, again, you know, I personally am just trying to work on the core, get a little stronger, a little more toned, and also for my athletic performance. And again, so just doing straight core workouts all the time is not gonna get your core ripped or cut. So you're going to need the combination. Strength training, you need to elevate your heart rate, you need to eat healthy, and then you need to target those core musculature. All of those combined are going to get you that nice six pack that you're probably trying to achieve. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions or just leave a comment if you like the video, right? Give me a thumbs up and feel free to share this. Always remember, you don't have to be an athlete to train like an athlete. Let's do it.